We're going to be surviving 24 hours on a London Underground train, travelling from West Ryslip all the way to Epping and back many, many times. Oh yeah, and along the way I'll be providing Batson with a few challenges to keep him busy. That was one trip already completed and an hour and 30 minutes into our time. This is going to be horrible. Oh, we're here, we're at Epping. At least she was just about to move as if we were getting off. We're not getting off. <laughs> we're not getting off, bro. Batson then explained that he had a box of supplies that we may need. So he gave me a tour of what he'd bought. Right, so in this box, we have some goodies. We have two battery banks. Power pack. These things. We have two of them. Okay. We have some hand sanitizer because obviously we're in the middle of a fucking global pandemic. We have this blanket, this banana, two tins of beans because if we get hungry, we're going to need to eat somehow, right? Two bottles of water and also this, a four inch USB desk fan. As you guys know, the it's weather is fucking toasty. So we're going to be using this to stay cool. But. So Batson's supply box proved to be mostly useless, but he had one more trick up his sleeve. Oh, Explain what this is. It's a hammock. However, this hammock proved to be more terrifying than relaxing. <laughs> I'm so scared to let go. Hey, this is not safe. Well, after those reassuring words from Batson, I decided I'd have a go on this industrial tablecloth. Fuck! You're gonna drop. Bro, if I drop, my back is split in half. Fuck, it's fucked. You have the fear of it falling over coming down. So clearly, Bats was very prepared with his hammock and small box. But it was time for me to show what I'd bought along. So my form of entertainment is old classic ping pong paddles. Now, I know they might look a bit shit, but once I'd actually managed to untangle them... You got this bro, you got this, don't worry. Don't stress me, you got 24 hours. <laughs> well, they were great fun. For a while. So, after destroying my boring entertainment, Batson started to get fairly tired. So I decided to try and redeem myself by proposing a game of tube ball. Tube ball, right? That doesn't sound right, does it? This is what the ball is tube ball is made of. It's After showing off my incredible football skills, I decided I would give Batson his first challenge. <laughs> Convince a stranger that we know each other. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that, but no worries. We then arrived back at West Ryslip Station for the second time, where Batson would be chatting to some old friends. <laughs> oh my days, Joe! Huh? Joe, are you Joe? No, no. No, I swear we last week. No, 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 the PR party, bro. Joe Hammersmith, right? The fucking PR party. You're better than that, Bats. Come on. <laughs> oh my thing, Bella, right? We met last week. No, my sister's not gonna believe this. You don't remember me? Come on. Sorry, this is a really weird question. Are you Rachel? I'm sure we met last week. Are you sure? So somehow this girl has some sixth sense, and she knew exactly where the camera was. Oh, no. So I never none of it. And so clearly, because of that girl, Batson had failed his challenge. Maybe she's been pranked way too many times. As if I went up to her and went, "We're, we're filming over there. Don't look at it." Yeah. But... <laughs> so after being rejected by his. PR party friends, Batson and I were actually getting quite relaxed in our new 24 hour home. And it seemed even with a giant hammock in the middle of the carriage, so were the public. I love how no one cares. Literally yeah. no one. This is an everyday occurrence, am I missing something? <laughs> So next I thought I would give Batson a chance to redeem himself by providing him with his second challenge. I swear to God, if this is do a backflip, you're gonna fucking get killed. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> right. Don't fuck around. You do this first. Oh, I'm nearly there. Can you do that? I'm not landing on my feet. I won't land on my feet. No, I just land on. Is that look? Is that? Just... <laughs> you didn't land on your body. Did this train go past A and E by chance? Okay, I've done it. 
<laughs> so we were now about six hours into our journey and getting rather hungry. But obviously we couldn't leave the train, so Batson decided to call up one of his friends to help out. MZ, bro, I need you to get us some food. Like, we're starving. We've been down here for hours. Can you meet us at, like, Oxford Circus? <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit, bro. There was just one problem though. We had chosen to meet Ams at one of the busiest stations at one of the busiest times. This meant that we would struggle to find Amzi and actually retrieve our food before our next train left. We have no way of contacting him. He's not here. Fuck. <laughs> so we waited and waited until there was only two minutes until our train left. We do not have long. It's four <laughs> o'clock. I haven't eaten since nine. And then finally, the amazing happened. So just in the nick of time, we were able to jump back on the train and get eating. Finally, our stomachs were filled. But then as the sun started setting, the tiredness really started to set in. Started playing an exhilarating game. But we pressed on through our 24 hour journey until Batson wanted to stop off for some fresh air and a sleep. But I wasn't going to let this happen, so I decided to wake him up with his next challenge. <laughs> you got a challenge, oh, bitch! Oh. <laughs> Open that puppy. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck <laughs> it's too early for this shit. <laughs> Win on Mario Kart against a stranger. Have you fucking seen the surroundings? <laughs> Does that stranger count as a fucking insect? We are the only heartbeats in this entire fucking county of Leighton. <laughs> Despite Leighton being a complete ghost town in the middle of the night, we hopped back on the train to see if we could find a competitor for Batson. Mario Kart tournament, guys. Anyone? We're having a Mario Kart tournament. You want to join? Yeah. Let's go, bro. Let's go. So I handed over the controller, and to our surprise, this man was slightly competitive. Fucking dead. How many times have you played Mario Kart ever? Never. Never! <laughs> You've literally overtaken me at the last second. Oh my days. Shit's about to get real. No, you bastard. <laughs> Yes! No, you fuckhead! <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> so, even though Batson had won against this man, we decided to provide him with a prize anyway. Here's your prize! Your prize is to the beans, bro! Now you go take it home. I want to say thanks to my mum and dad for supporting me. Uh, my brother's always been there too, and look, after years of dedication and hard work, it's all paid off. I mean, as we said earlier, shit's just not real. So there we have it. Batson had finally completed a challenge and we were on our final stretch. So we decided to turn in for some sleep on the very comfortable tube seats. Then finally, the sun rose and we had survived 24 hours on a London Underground train. Yo, Bats, we're here. It's the final stop. But then we had one final problem to solve. Where's the... Where's the fucking box? <laughs> Someone oh, stole the beans, bro. The beans? The beans! <laughs> fuck! Why the fuck would they take that, <laughs> but not your £2,000 camera? <laughs> our phones? Well, we'll fucking see you next week on that bombshell. See you next week, guys. Before you go, if you want to see the challenges I completed throughout the day, head over to Batson's channel and you'll be able to see tons of exclusive content that I didn't include in this video. Before you do, remember to press that subscribe button on my channel, or else.